Abala is largely a ghost town, following intense fighting in late December. Residents say Tigrayan forces fired at civilians from this ridge overlooking the town. Most residents fled, but since forces aligned with the Tigray People's Liberation Front, TPLF, left in April, a handful have returned. Faras Liali, a local militia leader who fought against the TPLF, says the devastation caused by the war is far-reaching. People are not afraid of war, but of famine. There is nothing to eat and there are no markets or shops. There is great fear at the present time of starvation and many families return to the town in confusion, not knowing what to do because of the lack of basic services in the city. The residents say they're afraid of unexploded bombs too. Two boys showed VOA these munitions they found left in their home. Many people VOA spoke to in Abala and other surrounding towns said they did not care about the politics between the Ethiopian government and Tigray. They just want a return to normal life. Both sides have indicated they're ready to negotiate an end to Ethiopia's 21-month internal war. In June, the Ethiopian government said it had set up a committee for negotiations. Tigray has said it is doing the same. A TPLF spokesperson told VOA, however, he is no longer optimistic that talks will take place anytime soon. I cannot say that today, because at that time, we were told by interlocutors, countries like the United States, the African Union, all of them, that basic services will start any minute, any minute now. We were counting not days, but hours, that there will be some move. Now, it looks like the Addis Ababa government have decided against it. The government has cut telecoms, banking services, fuel supplies, and prevented humanitarian aid from reaching Tigray. Analysts agree peace talks are unlikely to go ahead if these basic services are not restored to the region. But even if that happens, there are still obstacles to overcome, say analysts. One is the size of Tigray's army and its ability to wage war against the government. It's not clear that Tigray's leadership or its people um, would be willing to accept the downsizing, let alone the abolition of that force. Um, but equally, it's not at all clear that the federal government would accept um, Tigray to become a fully functioning part of the, the federation and its political system whilst it was still in possession of such a large and capable um, fighting force. The TPLF has indicated it could try to secede from Ethiopia and form an independent state. I think it is not a, a, a realistic option. Uh, we can uh, simply take even Eritrea and practice. Uh, it, uh, Eritrea left Ethiopia uh, some three uh, decades ago, and what it has been through is not as such, you know, praiseworthy. And let's also say which side takes control of the disputed region of West Tigray will play a major role in negotiations too. The Ethiopian government did not respond to a request for interview.